when I was out here doing Central Park West, you know, it was a network show, but I was, um, I was kind of spending time in New York and thinking about the fact that when the show went down, that I wanted to do a show that was more closer to um, just something that closer to the lives of people I knew in a, in, in a real way. And I knew Candace Bushnell, and I and I read her column, and I knew she had a column, "Sex in the City," and I, I love, I I love the idea of, of, um, using the the character of a writer, um, who was writing about her lives, but then the story would also be about her, and the columns weren't they weren't fiction, they weren't about four women, they were sort of pieces of journalism, um, but I also knew Candace, and I think that there was, I was able to, you know, um, create an, you know, a co create something that, um, uh, a character that I felt was, could be almost like a, you know, a Holly Golightly in terms of, of, of the 90s and, or, or late 90s. Um, in fact, when one way I pitched it was sort of like a Mary Tyler Moore for the you know the new millennium, um, but beyond that, it was like I just really wanted to do something that was like the anti-television show. I didn't want it to bring it to a network. I mean, ABC was interested in it, and um, and I remember asking them at the time, "Can you even call the show Sex in the City?" And really, I loved the Larry Sanders show. HBO wasn't except for Larry Sanders. They weren't known for series, but they were interested in doing this. At one point, I was interested in developing it as a movie, um, but I brought it to HBO with the idea that it would be sort of, for me, the equivalent of like an independent film for television, and that it would it would be on a movie channel, which HBO basically was a movie channel. It wasn't known for series, and it would be following a movie. So I wanted the show to feel like a movie, but. At the time, my idea about the show was I wanted to do an adult R-rated show about sex and relationships from a female point of view, and that I felt like, and I wanted to do a comedy. I felt like so many of the comedies out there were like, which I enjoyed, but they were about, so much of the humor came from euphemisms and things you couldn't say, and the comedy came from how they weren't, how they were wink wink saying, you know, what, what you weren't allowed to say on television, and I thought, you know what? I think a lot of my career, when I look back on it, has been about trying to push the boundaries of television, and, and I thought, you know, I wanted to do, I want to do something that's like, there are no boundaries, and let's really do a show that's frank and honest about sexuality, and it's not about showing, you know, showing skin or showing breasts. I mean, everybody can see pornography. It's not about that, but how do you tell something that's honest? Do a show that's honest and frank about. Um, sex and, and relationships in a relevant and humorous way. So I never thought Sex and City was going to be a hit. I mean, it wasn't in my, it wasn't my intention. It wasn't like, I mean, it was sort of the, it was my antidote to Central Park West, which in fact was so, you know, highly, you know, trumpeted and, you know, uh, got such a, you know, it was kind of almost shoved down viewers' throats by CBS. It was like, had such a gigantic, campaign and and um, and yet it was still always going to be a network show and I just thought you know I want to do something that is like the um, the antidote to that and something that felt like a personal project for television and so I think when you do that you don't expect I never ever expected the level of success that Sex and City has not I would I, I felt that when we finished the first season I thought what we did was Amazing, but I had no idea how it'd be received. Um, but my uh, my reasons for doing it at the beginning were just really to do something that was that I thought I could watch and and my friends could watch and like feel like there were no excuses, no sort of excuses saying like, oh, this is like a network show or this is this is you know that that it would just be like something that was could could just like. Um, exist as something sort of that didn't feel like television.